All right, so this is going to be the fun video where you see how to actually assemble this book. <laughs> um, here I've got my book, I've got my hole stitch punched, um, I've got my front marked, everything's in registration or alignment on the side. There are a couple of different ways of handling your book as you do this. Um, often something that works for people, and it's not something I can really show very easily on this video, um, but sometimes people like to open their book and stitch this way and have their needles lined up and hanging off the edge of a table. So I'm, I'm standing up against a table this way. Um, but if you are able to do that and work towards yourself, so stitching through in this direction, and letting your needles hang so they don't tangle and kind of like drape over the edge of something. That's a really good way to approach this. I just can't photograph it that way. I don't have a setup, so I'm gonna make do with what I've got and um, go the other direction. So um, what that means is I need to have my book turned this way. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to always make this turn so I've got my front cover I've got my F here and then I'm going to turn it this way but rotate it so I'm always keeping my pages facing the same direction um, I've already threaded my needles I've got four needles and two of them are each on this each end of one continuous length of embroidery floss so I've got one pair here. And again, I've got both ends of one piece of embroidery floss. So I've got like a U shape here. Two needles on one length. So what that's gonna allow me to do is I'm gonna take each needle and each of these is going to go through one of these punched holes on the interior of my book. And for this first step, I'm gonna pull them all the way through so that my U is resting here in between the holes I just punched. So I'm using pencil, so I'll come back and erase that later. I'm not too worried about it. Let's see. So. Um, I like to always have this resting on something like some surface that I, it's okay if I scratch up, but I'll show you. Oops. I want to try really hard not to punch another hole, but I just did. So I've got one in there. Hopefully you can see this next one. Try really hard not to tangle my floss. I left a pretty good length of this. Let's get this over a bit more. Um, you're gonna have a lot of wiggle room on this first batch of stitches, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm gonna try, this is off camera, but I'm gonna try to um, even out even out the tension so that my needles are more or less in line with each other. And then I'm gonna leave them facing out that way. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I've got my two needles. I'm gonna pull up the U shape into the actual binding. You can always work through one set of holes and then go to the next. Pull this through now. 
I'm gonna make sure that my needles are more or less even. Make sure they don't knot either. Okay, we'll pull this off to the side so they don't tangle. One of the hardest parts, honestly, about binding this book is just making sure that your threads don't tangle. <laughs> so um, I've got these. I wanna make sure that I've pulled this through so I've got my threads on the interior laying down nicely. Um, however, I don't wanna pull them super tight because I will rip out my pages, um, right? So if I really crank this, um, this will just rip and rip and rip. I don't want that to happen. So you want kind of a happy medium between too loose, which would be like this, um, too tight, which would be ripping out and damaging to your book. Um, you just want, you want kind of the, the Goldilocks. It's just right. Then I'm done with this folio. So I'm gonna take my next one. I'm gonna try to put it into the same, same orientation as this book. I'm gonna check it. Everything lines up. Super exciting. And then the fun part. <laughs> so I'm going to start on the right hand side of my book because I'm right handed. And for some reason, this just seems like the natural progression. But you can start on the left hand side too. It doesn't really matter. This pair is only going to be worked in this pair. This pair is only going to be worked in this pair. Um, so this thread which comes from my furthest right-hand side, is going to go up and come inside this punch or the series of punched holes. And sometimes it can be kind of challenging to get the registration just right. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and set that off to the side for a second. Do the same thing. I'm going to pull this one straight up through this one. Right, again, I'm going to just make sure that I've got this pulled tight enough, but not too tight. Then on the inside, my right hand thread, I'm going to pull this through the left hand one, right? So right side goes back down through the left. Pull it taut here. And then this left-hand one is going to crisscross and go through the right. So now you've got a doubled up thread on the inside. And then you've got a more or less secure stitch on the outside. Now is the time though, if you wanna make any tension adjustments, This is ready to go before the next folio, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I'll take right hand, pull it through. Left hand, pull it through. Pull these a little tighter. And then I'm gonna take, again, each of these and cross them over into the next. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna make sure that each of these pairs stays independent. I 
think these could be a little tighter, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Again, I'm just kind of tugging on them a little bit, but I'm making sure they don't pull through. All right, next folio, same thing. Got my next one. Take a look, make sure everything registers. The first one is definitely the most challenging because there's nothing else to hold your book in place. I'm trying really hard not to dent my paper, but. Some people find that if you do everything all at the same time, so if you pull all of your um, all of your stitches inside, like if you're working across four, to pull them all inside and then go back outside at the same time, sometimes that's helpful to people. Um, I prefer to kind of complete one series of stitches and then go down to the next one. But, you know, they both get the job done. It's, pretty, it's the same thing, so. How, whatever you gotta do to make it work. So again, I've got this other pair. Oops, I almost stabbed my thumb. Don't stab your fingers, you guys. All right, there's one. And crisscross. Just tension. Looking good, I've got two more folios. I don't know how this one got so dirty. My goodness. Actually, I don't wanna put this in my book because it got all dirty somehow. So <laughs> I'm gonna set that one aside, do something else with it later, and we'll just go ahead and go into the next step. Uh, so I've got my, I've got my, scratch that one. Um, this next one I've got is my folio that includes my cover. Right, so this is super duper important that I make sure that everything is lined up the way I want it to. Right, I've got my double folded cover. All of the pages are the way I want them. Um, because if I have, for whatever reason, incorrectly completed my cover, now is the time to fix it. But I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I'm just going to pull these into the inside. And instead of coming back out, I will place knots on the inside to hold my folio in place. Um, let's see. I'm starting on the right before, so let me go ahead and do that again. Before I do this, if I wanted to put more pages in here, I could do as many folios as I wanted and thought reasonable. Um, I am just ending it a little bit prematurely because I think you guys get the idea of how to do this. You just keep crisscrossing and crisscrossing. Um, and the cover is the only change to that series of steps. So again, I've got my right hand thread on the outside. I'm going to pull it onto the inside of my book. Hmm. This is not cooperating very well. Um, if you have a situation like I'm having, where it's not really wanting to pull through, 
you might have a problem where you just need to come back in and punch your hole a little bit better. I did not do a very good job punching that one apparently. So. Somehow I ended up with a double punch, so. There we go. Pull that through. My needle came in threaded. Pull that in, I'll adjust the tension with these two. Go over, and I'm not gonna do anything else with that pair for just a minute. I'm gonna do my other two so I can line up everything on the interior. What is going on here? I did not punch these well enough. This one too while I'm while I'm struggling with it. All right. So I'm gonna take my needle back through. There we go. Dented my paper a little bit, which is not good, but I'll forgive myself. Now, I don't know what happened, but this needle came undone too. There we go. All right. Mine came unthreaded at the very last minute. So then my final steps for this book. I want to make sure that I've got everything pulled to the correct tension, whatever I find that may be. I used way too much material because I thought my book was going to be a little bit bigger than it actually is. Um, I'm actually going to cut I'm gonna do one round and cut these a little bit shorter so that um, so that you can see the knots I'm tying a bit better. So I'm gonna just snip these off real quick. So they show up a little bit better on screen. All right, final check. My stitches are nice and even. my tension a little bit and then I'm just going to do um, a couple square knots so for this I like to do left over right and under and again I don't want to tie it super super tightly because it'll rip out those holes um, and then I do right over left and under I don't want to let my um, I don't want to let my knot be too loose so I'm gonna Come in. I like to use a needle so I can kind of coax it into a little bit, a little bit of a tighter tie. That looks pretty good. I'll do the same thing over here. needle down there. So I can, again, kind of coax it into a little bit tighter knot, tighten it up, and then I can 
cut these a bit shorter. Um, I like to leave mine so that they don't hang out of the book, but I think it looks kind of cool when they're a little bit longer than the stitch itself. Ideally, you don't want to put your knot directly over one of the holes because it's, it's possible it would slip out. Um, but then I have a nicely bound book that will lay flat, is handmade, and uses recycled paper. So this concludes the demonstration for a hand-bound exposed spine book with four needles.